Hello, podcast enthusiasts. It's Jim Jaquetta, co-founder and CTO of Vitovation. Thanks for tuning in. I've got an exclusive treat for you, my wireless experts checklist. Please text the word podcast to 949-755-8881 to grab it and open the door to some engaging conversations. Again, text the word podcast to 949-755-8881. I look forward to chatting with you and sharing valuable production and broadcast insights. Don't forget to hit subscribe or follow to catch all future episodes. Your feedback is gold. Please leave a review and shape the future of this podcast. Thank you for listening and have a wonderful day. Hello, everyone. It's Jim Jaquetta again, CTO and co-founder of Vitovation. We're here at the NAB Show 2024, and we're showing the Advanced Image Robotics Camera System, uh, or Air One for short. So what is the Air One system? We can, uh, it's the integration of uh, robotics with cinematic cameras. Uh, everyone wants the cinematic look, whether it's a sporting event, a church, a live event. People want that cinematic shallow depth of field where they can focus in on certain elements uh, in the production. So Air One was invented for camera operators that struggle with controlling a joystick for PTZ cameras. So the engineers at, at, at uh, Advanced Image Robotics took an off-the-shelf iPad and we use that for control. We're connected to the Air One camera either through a, a hardline Ethernet connection on the iPad or we can do it through Wi-Fi or we can go through the public internet and we have a bunch of controls. So this is this is meant as an alternative to a traditional PTZ joystick. Uh, as we all know a touch uh, iPad is a, is a touch device so let's just say we want to zoom in on these. This is a proxy, a low res proxy of the video coming uh, from the camera. So let's just say we want to zoom into what's happening here on this monitor. We can zoom in on that. Then with our other hand, we can control the zoom. So we could zoom in and you can make small movements. See, I'm moving my finger slowly. Do a small move. Uh, we, can have, uh, we can make that a, a, a new preset. So you can see, we can save for a recall later. We can play with the focus. We can do the speed. So what does the speed mean? When we click this, re this, this preset, speed is how aggressively the, the camera will go to that preset. So we got slow, mean, turbo, super fast. So I'll make it slow, because most of ours are, are fast. So let me go to another preset. You double tap. So that was a fast attack. Now watch this one. We made this slow. See that? It makes it more gentle. So you could be live while that's making that transition. And it's meant to be used with two hands. So one hand is controlling the camera. One is doing zoom. You see over here we can record. We can change the ISO. We can change the f-stop. Uh, whatever camera uh, body we're using in the robotic arm uh, most or all of the, the hooks uh, settings we can control from here. We can then also be controlled to, to up to six cameras. So we can have take control of six cameras. I'm local to the camera right now. We can bring uh, through the air canvas, we can bring other operators into the ecosystem. Operators could be in New York, uh, London, LA, their living room couch with an iPad and control a camera thousands of miles away. When you log into the canvas, uh, you see all, a list of all your operators, you see the list of all your cameras, and you drag a, a, an operator. Ryan Jaquetta is operating this camera. John Smith is operating camera two. And this way there's no confusion uh, with people working remotely who's controlling what asset in the field. And it's a very, very intuitive system. We do have a webinar uh, we recorded about a month ago on our website uh, to show you more information. Uh, we can show you the, the camera over here to show you what it looks like.